Hey everybody, and welcome to my new Let's Play. So, what could it be? Hmm, well, it's obviously on the Dreamcast. And I said it was a survival horror game. So let's just see what it is. As soon as this thing loads. Because the Dreamcast is old, and it takes forever to load. Okay, yeah, Sega, all that jazz, we get it, we get it. What could it be? What could it be? I know you're just sitting there like in your seat just like, what is it? Even though, you know, I'm pretty sure the title at the top of the video was a dead giveaway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in any case, this is my let's play of Blue Stinger. And, um, if you know, if you're a longtime viewer of my old channel, then you know all about... Or not, my, not my old channel, but my primary channel, which is under the, uh, the username Zelda Game God. Uh, you know all about Blue Stinger. It's a game that I've been playing for a while, and I actually had a series on it before, but that was then, this is now. This is the new series we're starting over. I'm going to take the chance to do it all over again. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and start the game up. This is the opening cutscene that I'm going to just. I'm going to be providing my own commentary over this part for now, because, uh,. You know, I'm gonna. This is gonna be pretty uh, story-driven. This let's play because you know it's different from Ocarina of Time. With Ocarina of Time, I was betting on the fact that pretty much everybody played that and everybody knew what was going to happen. This is different. I'm betting most of you haven't played Blue Stinger. I'm betting none of you really know what the story of it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read this for you. In 2000 AD, a great earthquake rocks the Yucatan Peninsula, Peninsula, causing an area of land 400 kilometers in diameter to sink into the ocean, leaving behind only a small island at the exact center of the sunken area. Researchers are astonished to find that the area of land lost to the earthquake is exactly the same size as the meteor which caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. This connection to a long forgotten past gives the new island its name, Dinosaur Island. So yeah, basically the meteor that killed the dinosaurs uh, landed right on this one spot and everything sunk around the the spot where it hit except for this one island so the island is exactly where the meteor hit so that's kinda suspicious and uh... this will be this the story in this game is pretty uh... expanded it'll go all over the place and uh... it's really important that i keep in the that i'm gonna keep in the cutscenes and i'm gonna pretty much just shut up during all of them so you can know what's going on because it's vital for the story of the game and to know what's going on so here we are in 2018 present day we're not that close off to it in the actual uh, year right now, but I suppose when this game came out, this must have been pretty futuristic, so we're gonna go off that. So just off the shore of the Dinosaur Island. Of the Dinosaur Island. Dinosaur Island. And here we have our first cutscene that I'm going to let you watch. Hey, Tim. What's up, Elliot? Why do you think Chimeratech built such a huge research lab on such a tiny island? Sometimes I don't understand what big wigs are thinking. I'm just a crew member of the supply ship. Heck, I don't even get permission to enter the residential district on the island. What the hell would I know about that? It's not mine. I rented it from the Kimura Tech Group. Captain Dogs has a very good connections with them. He talked to them, I got the ship, with one condition. We have to decorate the boat before I return it to them. We? Decorate the boat? The Kimura Tech Group wants to have a Christmas party on this ship. I thought I told you. I never heard about that. It's not that hard. We can finish by tomorrow morning. Come on, I don't want to work. This is my first vacation I got in two years. I 
figure you're making a part of the decoration? You're already preparing for the party? What is that? A Nephrim. It's a character from the Bottled Angel series. An angel of good luck. It's a limited edition. You hang this on at the ship's bow for protection. Pretty neat, huh? Tim! Alright, so we saw some pretty important events there, and yeah, I know this, this video is mostly containing the cutscenes and stuff, but, you know, watching these now is going to really help the game later on, I swear, so it's really important that we uh, do the cutscenes. And there's a helicopter, yay, someone crashed, and Elliot somehow got all the way over here, that's awesome. And as you can see, Nevelum flies over, and Nevelum is just like this spirit thing that took the form of that bottled angel, in case you uh, didn't catch that. And she's going to give us a little flashback and uh, try to give us some insight into the situation here. And I feel like I'm going to have a seizure. Oh my god. Yeah, dinosaurs. Hence the name Dinosaur Island. And yeah, the animation on this game isn't exactly the highest of quality, but you know, it makes it up for it in gameplay mostly, so we can just let that slide. And uh, we have about a minute left, so I can go ahead and show you some of the basic yeah. controls. Yeah. Basically, just uh, press yeah. the X button on the controller yeah. to execute some melee attacks. Y or the right trigger does a shooting attack, but we don't have any guns yet. You can climb surfaces and stuff. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're just gonna, st 
stop it off here right now, and uh, in the next part we will go ahead and begin Blue Stinger, so see you then.